the session is to discuss a most awaited and uh, a most important session in our syllabus that is uh, assurance and related services as you are aware so this this is a highly uh, examinable and highly popular section in our syllabus as well as there would be a definite question even during the upcoming examination so my intention today is to discuss the theory of uh, entire chapter in a summary form in a logical order and also to discuss two past paper questions especially to uh, train you all how to apply the theoretical knowledge in a practical circumstances uh, giving the consideration for the practical application so before uh, going to the chapter let us have let us have a look on the syllabus content and then uh, the how that has come in the questions how that has tested in uh, examination paper as well as then let us look at the uh, the learning outcome so and after that we will come to the today's session right so in your in your syllabus basically uh, this comes under the assurance and related services the 10 percent weightage uh, section g audit sorry section f uh, the assurance and uh, related services 10 percent is your syllabus weightage and then if you see this is coming under the chapter 17 of your syllabus uh, your study text assurance and related services you can uh, check that in your study text and then if you see the paper analysis in our as previous expo examination actually previously we had a two examination december 2020 online and the february 2021 uh, uh, the paper physical examination paper as well as you have the mock paper and the pilot paper examination paper so what you could notice here is so 12 marks 12 marks 10 marks 12 marks so it continuously even though the syllabus weightage percentage given is 10 percent so there is a there is a uh, there is a clear evidence that there will be a short scenario question for 10 marks and there will be a one mcq question from uh, from this particular area and even your uh, examination will be the same thing i guess because this is one of the one of the important aspect being a practicing chartered accountant you should aware so do you are going to be a practicing chartered accountant or the chartered accountant business so this is one of the application we you should uh, aware in detail right so uh, let us look at the uh, a past paper question to see how that has come in your examination paper right so i'll get the uh, february 2021 your recent examination so if you see the recent examination if i go to the section two short scenario questions section two uh, short scenario question question number three question number three so it's given for 10 marks so shall we quickly read this question and what to, to understand what type of question would come the question number three lakharita is a tv reality show popular among sri lankans it evaluates the business on their csr project to, to protect the environment and awards to protect the environment and awards a rupees 10 million to the winner with the best environmental conservation project your audit client abc plc is interested in sending an application to appear in the tv show the completed application must be signed by the board of directors and addressed to the producers of the tv show so clear written guideline on completion of the application and rules for applicants are provided in the application itself the application is an appropriate format it provides the details on the nature of the project expenditure incurred how the applicant measured the impact on the environment kpis and comparison of the kpis against set targets the producers of the tv show request the application to be accompanied by an audit report issued by a professional accountant on the accuracy of the information on the above application you are the auditor in charge of this year's audit engagement of abc plc and the finance director contacted you seeking professional advice and guidance required assess whether your firm can perform an assurance engagement in the above scenario considering whether the engagement exhibit all the characteristic of an assurance engagement outline the difference between re reasonable assurance and the limited assurance with respect to the conclusion write a conclusion if the above engagement was concluded as a reasonable assurance engagement and unmodified conclusion was expressed for two marks altogether 10 marks right so you could see this is your practical application you are you are theory into a practical case scenario there is a real example that the audit firm uh, partners face so the similar type of cases are being uh, 
uh, given in the examination. So, therefore, this type of question definitely this type of question would come in your examination as well. And if you go to the another paper just to quickly see the pilot paper, if you see the pilot paper again the similar way the question has been in the paper section 2 I am not going to read the question uh, because of the uh, time constraint, but you can see the required part of the section question number 1 of section 2 required part apply framework for assurance engagement in identifying the accepting assurance engagement to determine whether the assurance can be provided in each of scenario mentioned above. Right, So, that is similar type of question into the this February 2021 examination paper. If you see the mock paper or if you see the December online examination paper similar type of uh, the question uh, questions have come in your examination. Right, So, look at here. Now, so you have to think this is your 10 percent weightage the number of mark it may be 8 or 12 or 13 or whatever, but the there will be definite question. So, what you really want to think here is this rather memorizing a theory what is given in the study text it is little long, but if you try to understand in a logical way if you are practicing chartered accountant in one day whether what type of assurance services that I can provide and you imagine you are a chartered accountant in practice, you are imagine you are a partner of an audit firm. So, then what type of services that can be provided by myself that is the examination question. For that we need to learn what are the services that can be provided by the chartered accountant. So, that is called assurance and related services. So, what I am going to do now I am going to summarize the key application of or key services that can be provided by a chartered accountant and then we will differentiate all those services and then I will highlight what are the key things you should aware in terms of the each and every services that is provided by the chartered accountant and then we will come and apply that knowledge into a two case scenarios to see whether you can think and write an ex write at the examination. So, memorizing ans memorizing things in this particular ex the particular paper or a particular section is not going to be useful right. This is not like a digital auditing or this is not like internal audit this is something a practical chartered accountant practical practice in chartered accountant areas or a he is applying this particular knowledge into a case scenarios that he faced in day to day life. Right. Okay. So, before coming into that, so our heading today is assurance and related services. Right. So, before coming into that, let us clarify, let us go back to our webinar number 1, which we uh, discussed about 1 and a half month to 2 months back. So, webinar number 1 before the third wave of the COVID. Basically, what we discussed was, if you can remember the definition of an assurance, we discussed what is meant by assurance? Assurance. So, can you remember? So, if you can remember it will be easy for me what is meant by assurance? So, in order to explain this one I took a very uh, actually uh, in this particular chapter the press clarification should be obtained before coming to the definition. Being a chartered accountant or being a practitioner, being a practitioner. So, this practicing audit firm chartered accountant can provide mainly two type of thing. Now, I am a partner of an audit firm, I can provide two type of services for my clients, right. Being a professional accountant, I can provide two type of services. One type is assurance, right other one is called non assurance or we call related services. Right now before further elaborating this into a different different services. So, as a CL 1 student you need to aware the difference between You need to aware what is the key difference between the assurance and non assurance, right. The assurance services we will further elaborate into a bigger picture, non assurance services we will elaborate into a bigger picture and I will give you a very short notice, short note. 
So, how to remember all those uh, different type of services with the key highlight, but before that even taking some time we need to clarify what is assurance, what is non-assurance, right. So, let me to explain on that assurance. So, I am going to go for my very basic example, very basic example which I explain in the webinar number 1 with regard to introduction to auditing. Amarapala's example, so this Amarapala's example is more than the introduction to auditing chapter. So, that is more important in this particular chapter. So, you will understand while we are discussing the questions because fundamental understanding is very much important. Amarapala, beautiful name Amarapala, right. Amarapala applies for the job of mass holding. I hope that you can remember this one. Amarapala apply for the job of mass holding. Now, Amarapala is a recently qualified chartered accountant and he has got through the case study and he has become, he has got the membership. So, now he is ACA. So, he has applied for the job of finance manager. I hope that you can remember this example, right? Finance manager for a salary of 500,000 job of mass holdings. Now, Mass holding head of HR calls Amarapala and tells your name has been shortlisted. So, can you come for the interview with your original certificates and together with two characteristic certificates. Now, Amarapala thinks how can I get a character certificate? So, what Amarapala does, Amarapala takes a paper, Amarapala takes a paper and write Certify in my character, certify in my character, right. I am Amarapala, I can uh, discharge any duties that, that is given by the company, I am, I am a good character. Likewise, certify Amarapala, you know. Amarapala is writing on behalf of Amarapala a character certificate and takes to the mass holding with the, is it a character certificate? Yes, it is a character certificate. But the problem is mass holding needs a certificate on your character, mass holding needs a certificate on your character not written by you, not written by you. So, then so Amarapala knows that character is not going to be accepted by the mass holding. So, what Amarapala does? Amarapala tells to Amarapala's mother. So, Amma give me a character certificate. Now, what happened? Now, Amarapala's mother writing a character certificate on behalf of the Amar, uh, his, her son, Amarapala yana mage putage charite sahati kiriba sambandhe hai, denula banna o ne amara achakari akshi dukala hai, gunavat, nenavat, silvat, kenegu bavata me in tahauru karami meet Amarapala ke amma. Now, Amarapala, so you may be thinking why I am repeating this example because this was heavily explained at the press webinar. So, listen, even though this is a second time, please listen into that, listen to that. You will understand at the end of the session why, how important this particular example, right. So, now Amarapala's mother wrote a character certificate and Amarapala takes that character certificate and goes to the mass holding, mass holding asking who wrote this character certificate, mother. So, we cannot accept, your mother is a related party, you are a connected one, so you, this cannot be accepted. So, what? What Amarapala does now? So, Amarapala tried to write the Amarapala's character certificate that was not accepted and Amarapala was trying to set, get the character certificate from his mother that was not accepted. Now, Amarapala what he does now? He was searching the so many places and finally, Amarapala feel that because he is a chartered accountant, I have to go for a person, I have to go for a person, I have to go to a third party person. I have to go for a third party person whom that third party will be accepted by another third party. Amarapala has to get a character certificate from not from Amarapala, but another third party that whom that third party will be accepted by another third party. So, independent, independent assurance, independent certificate. So, what Amarapala does, Amarapala goes to the temple, church, mosque, where of the religious place or the school. So, let us say Amarapala goes to the temple and it, Amarapala goes and tell, tell to monk of the temple. 
So Temple Mang is giving a character certificate. Certificate to the mass holdings stating that Amarapala's character is good or bad. Right? So what happened now? This subject matter, the character belongs to character belongs to Amarapala was certified by another third party to another third party. This was certified by a third party to another third party. This third party is accepted by another third party. So what happened now? This character belongs to Amarapala, but that that must be certified by a third party person, third party person to be to be believed by another third party. Right? So this is a very basic fundamental concept that we that we have in our day to day life. So this is simply the definition of here is this this type of thing we call assurance. We call assurance. The assurance means what? Something belongs to someone else is certified by someone else to another third party. That is called assurance. This diagram, now this diagram can be applied for many things in this world. Now it can be COVID-19, it can be a character, it can be this building, it can be your examination, it, anything. So therefore, this assurance is a very wider concept. Now look at here. So I am going to apply this, I am going to apply this diagram into the financial statement now. See, now this, this example also you are well aware. Management is preparing the finance statement and giving to the shareholders. Management is preparing the finance statement and giving to the shareholders to communicate what happened in, in what happened to our investment or what, what is the business transaction or what is the business result. So that is communicated to the shareholders by the management. But the shareholders do not trust the management. So therefore shareholder needs a third party assurance from a chartered accountant to come and check this finance statement and give a report. See, character example is applied to the finance statement. Character example is applied to the finance statement. So this is called, this is also an assurance. Right? This is also an assurance. I will take another example. Let us say, let us say a management of a company right, and tell to the central environmental authority management of a company or the company let us say the mass holding or let us say the another rubber manufacturing company Richard Pires. So this, com this company and tell to the com uh, sorry this uh, uh, central environmental authority central environment authority our company does not engage in the environmental pollution. Right, with regard to the environmental pollution. But the Central Environment Authority is not going to rely on that. Similarly, the shareholders are not going to trust, Central Environment Authority is not going to trust the company. Richard Pires, let us say this is a Richard Pires. Rubber Manufacturing Company, let us say. PLC. Then Central Environment Authority say, now look here, go for a third party, we need assurance from a third but not from you. I do not want assurance from you, I need an assurance from a third party whom I will be accepting or whom I can accept. So therefore, this management goes to a third party person, it may be a practitioner, we call practitioner, it does not re really require to be a chartered accountant let us say. So this practitioner has to come and check the environmental pollution of this company and give a report. Right? This report has to be given to the Central Environmental Authority, Madhima Parishara Adhikari to make a then known. So, this is also an assurance. This is also an assurance. Right? See, your diagram of basic characteristic giving a character certificate is given to finance, is applied to the finance statement. When it is applied to the character also an assurance, when it is applied to the finance statement also an assurance, if it is applied to the environmental pollution, corporate governance or internal control of the company, so greenhouse gas statements or anything can be applied this diagram. So that is called assurance. So then what is the definition of an assurance? 
what is the definition of the assurance which we discussed. So, we, we change we change our basic diagram into a definition I told you not, not to memorize this definition, but to remember that. So, this particular Amarapala we call a name what is that responsible party responsible party that is a technical word and character we call subject matter subject matter then mass holding we call intended user intended user right and this third party person temple monk we call practitioner practitioner then this certificate we call report right and I told you this subject matter it should be evaluated using the criteria and when to issue when if you want to issue a report you need to have evidence right. So, this is what we discussed the webinar number 1 and also I told you so, this definition do not memorize the definition, but what is the definition? There are tri-party involvement, responsible party, intended user and the practitioner. The practitioner comes and check the subject matter which is prepared by the responsible party using the suitable criteria and after obtaining the evidence as a report is given to the intended user. Definition not to memorize, what is the definition? practitioner express an opinion to the intended user on the subject matter prepared by the responsible party using the criteria after obtaining the evidence. The definition this has to be taken into the mind. So, what is the definition? Practitioner express an opinion to the intended user on the subject matter prepared by the responsible party using the criteria after evaluating the evidence. So, now this is the general definition can be applied for anything that is called assurance engagement. This assurance engagement has a five elements. So, this assurance engagement it can be a finance statement treatment, it can be a environmental pollution, it can be a corporate governance, it can be an internal control of the business organization or it can be anything else in this world which is acceptable to the practitioner which a chartered accountant can do. So, chartered accountants are certifying not only the finance statement, chartered accountants are certifying many things. So, many assurance services can be provided by chartered accountants. So, that is what our topic today. So, our topic today, so webinar number 1, our introduction to auditing where we started, we learned the assurance, we learned the assurance and then we learned the next one is this particular area. So, that means we learned the assurance broader picture and then we came to a definition if you can remember audit, assurance is a big picture, audit is a one part of the assurance. Can you remember? So, what is meant by audit? So, audit is a type of assurance. So, that means our general definition of an assurance engagement, if you apply that into the finance statement, simply that is called an external auditing. So, what is meant by external auditor? The chartered accountant comes and check the finance statement which is prepared by the management and giving a report to the shareholder stating that the finance statement do not contain material misstatement. So, that is what we call auditing. Auditing is a part of uh, assurance services. Audit and assurance. Actually, when you tell assurance, when you tell assurance, audit is part of assurance. So, assurance means you can apply it for many things in this world, but when this diagram is applied to the finance statement reporting perspective, giving a reasonable assurance that is called auditing. See, 
now today's our intention so we have gone into this auditing angle and we have learned all the audit evidence audit reporting and all that so therefore our intention today is not to go into this line but today to learn being a chartered accountant in the country or the world this chartered accountant is not only providing the audit services but the chartered accountant providing many services other than the audit so we need to learn those other assurance services that a chartered accountant provides so i hope that i put a clear foundation to you and what is meant by assurance what is meant by audit and what is our uh, uh, today's topic and what we are going to discuss right one important thing you should aware here so basically so if you are to call about any services that is provided by a chartered accountant or the practitioner to say that it is assurance or unassurance always you need to have the you need to check the five basic elements so if you want to analyze whether this is assurance work or unassurance services always so you need to check whether all these five criteria so the five elements prevails or remains right number one that you are aware three party relationship three party relationship remember if you are to tell any services that are provided by a chartered accountant is assurance services number one criteria should be the tri party relationship there should be a tri parties involved including the practitioner if a chartered accountant gives a service only to the management that is not an assurance services right that must be remembered and number two right number two like this particular chartered accountant or this practitioner comes and check this temple monk come and check the character similarly in audit chartered accountant comes and check the finance statement so therefore so this character or this finance statement or the greenhouse or the corporate governance or the internal control anything we call subject matter but you can't just say a subject matter it should be appropriate subject matter appropriate subject matter right why i say appropriate because all the subject matters cannot be certified by a chartered accountant right so if you are asked to uh, give a certification on a aircraft that is also an assurance work in this world but can you do so you cannot do that is not appropriate to you to give an assurance work right and then number 3 number 3 number 3 so this subject matter must be evaluated through something so if it is a audit you know if it is a audit management is prepare the finance statement and given to the shareholder shareholder appoint a third party person called chartered accountant to come and check this finance statement this finance statements are prepared or this finance statements are evaluated using some basis this finance statements are prepared or the finance statement should be evaluated using some basis that basis is called criteria so this finance statement is prepared based on the sri lanka financial reporting standards or the lks so in terms of this finance statements are perspective finance statement perspective concern sri lanka financial reporting standard is the criteria so if a character wants to be evaluated and there should be some basis or some criteria to be to be used by the the person who is given to, given to give a certificate right if you are to evaluate the environmental pollution there should be some criteria so if you are to evaluate the corporate governance there should be some criteria let's say corporate governance or co corporate governance uh, principle that i should buy let's say uh, this uh, ca sri lanka or the coso framework or whatever so third one there should be a suitable criteria not the all the criterias but suitable criterias must be there right and number four right so you should be able to if you want to say that the finance statement prepared by the management is or are free from material misstatement to the shareholder you need to have a basis to say that you need to have evidences you need to have a sufficient and appropriate audit evidences to say that the finance statement do not contain material misstatement so therefore similarly this particular monk to tell that your character is a good to the uh, the mass holding that monk should have uh, some evidences so therefore so we call evidences must be available 
we simply call sufficient and appropriate evidences, the evidences must be available. The number 5 is this particular practitioner must give a written report to the intended user. This particular chartered accountant should give a report to the shareholder. So, therefore, number 5th criteria is the written report. Right. So, in your examination, this is one of the key question. So, there will be scenario given for you to identify whether this is an assurance work or this is a non-assurance work. If you want to apply the, if you want to identify whether this is assurance or a non-assurance work, basically you need to apply these five fundamentals, the five elements to the given scenario and see whether this can be categorized or this can be included or this can be defined as an assurance engagement. So, in arriving in this, so if you can't remember this all five, there is a short form to remember that is we call crest. In simply we call crest. So, this you need to see at the examination. So, your examination question is to identify whether this is assurance or not, then you need to apply the crest. What is meant by crest? So, crest mean C mean criteria and R mean report, E mean evidences, S mean subject matter, T mean tripartite relationship. So, it is not in all, uh, on this order, but if you can remember this order is best order is this, but if you can, if you want to remember in a short form, this is crest, criteria, report, evidence, subject matter and the tripartite relationship, we call crest. If the crest prevails, it is an assurance work, right. So, I hope that you are clear the basis now, assurance, what is meant by an assurance engagement and what are the basic elements of an assurance engagement. I will show you how this is going to be useful at the examination. So, so we will look at this past paper. See, so this uh, pilot paper question number 1 if you see, I am um, I'm going to discuss this question at the end. So, this particular question if you just read the press part. So, you are the technical manager of ST Partners, a local firm of chartered accountants. Several audit seniors of your firm has approached you to clarify the type of other engagement requested to be undertaken by their clients in line with the technical pronouncement of Sri, of Sri Lanka. Given below are summary of such requirements. Eco friendly PLC or a manufacturing entity with regional presence as pro, has produced its press sustainability report with economic, environmental and social KPIs and is seeking to obtain an assurance from the firm. The report has been prepared based on GRI for guidelines. CFO of Growth Bank PLC has approached the audit partner and request to provide some form of assurance on director statement on internal control. So, I am not going to read the next one, but look at the question. Apply framework for assurance engagement in identifying and accepting assurance identify and accepting assurance engagement to determine whether assurance can be provided in each of the scenario mentioned above. The question is you have to see whether assurance can be provided in the given scenario. Now, what you really look at what you need to really look at here you need to really look at whether these five fundamental principle prevails in this particular given scenario. So, if the crest prevails it is an assurance work. If crest is not available, it is not an assurance engagement. So, this is a highly, highly popular or the highly common question in the examination papers of all the auditing papers in the world. And the similar thing if you see the uh, February, February examination paper also I am not going to read the question paper, but look at the required section assess whether your firm can provide an assurance engagement in the above scenario considering whether the engagement exhibit all the characteristic of an assurance engagement. See how nice all the characteristic what are the characteristic crest tripartite relationship appropriate subject matter suitable criteria evidence and the written report. If all these five criteria are prevailing then that is an assurance engagement otherwise it is an unassurance engagement. So, I hope that you are clear what I was trying to tell now. So, what I was trying to tell is so you need to have a proper understanding what is meant by assurance and the 
non assurance services right having kept that understanding now you know what type of question would come in your examination as well now the one more thing before moving to the our today's uh, big diagram so one important thing i want to highlight again that is so i'll i'll delete this one right now the important thing which i discussed during the first webinar this subject matter this practitioner gives an opinion this practitioner gives an opinion on the subject matter to the intended user in this particular example auditor gives an report to the shareholders on the finance statement prepared by the management and this certificate this this certificate we can say good this certificate we can say bad the certificate we can say partly good or this certificate we can say 100% good there are many so therefore that there is a theory in the assurance framework which we could, should remember the level of assurance level of assurance so that means that mean being a chartered accountant or any other practitioner in this world different level of certificates can be given one we call 100 percent assurance and there is a word for this absolute assurance i hope that you might have learned this thing in your previous subject bl5 k4 the previous kb4 subject so 100 percent assurance that mean temple monk is going to say that the amarapala's character is 100 percent good him again pull on the amarapala kisi mara dakkar lana amarapala sijir siyak hondai kila him again pull on the can we can you say that the amarapala is a very good character very perfect character now you come to me and ask him sir can you give a character certificate i'm going to tell that he is a very good character or the 100 percent character 100 percent good character can i say i cannot say the similarly the temple monk cannot say this amarapala's character is good similarly this finance statement prepared by the management the auditor can, can come and check the finance statement but auditor can never say this finance statements are perfect and all right no misstatement free from misstatement all are very good can you say that you cannot say eba kiyanne komada එහෙම කියන්න බෑ දැන් ෆ්ලයිට් එකක් යන්න කලින් අපි ඉල්ලනවා මේ ෆ්ලයිට් එක අහස දෙක කඩා වැටෙන්නේ නැහැ කියලා කාටරි සාතිකයක් දෙන්න පුළුවන්ද සීරිය සාතිකයක් දෙන්න පුළුවන්ද මේ ෆ්ලයිට් එක අහස දෙක කඩා වැටෙන්නේ නැහැ කියලා එහෙම කියන්න පුළුවන්ද එහෙම කියන්න බෑ දැන් මම මේ ඉන්ස්ටිට්‍යුට් එකේ බිල්ඩින් එකේ ඉන්නවා මේ බිල්ඩින් එකේ කාටරි සාතිකයක් දෙන්න පුළුවන්ද මේ බිල්ඩ් එකනත් ජීවිතේ කිසිම දවසක කඩා වැටෙන්නේ නැහැ කියලා එහෙම කියන්න පුළුවන්ද එහෙම කියන්න බෑ we cannot tell like that so therefore there is a golden rule that any practitioner or any subject matter in this world this 100% assurance 100% absolute assurance cannot be given that is why we say in auditing we don't say the 100% good that is why we say the finance statements are free from misstatement no finance statements are free from material misstatement why we we put a material word since we cannot say that the finance statements are free from misstatement varadi na hai kiya apdi kiyanata bam right so now therefore generally this assurance there is another level called reasonable another level called limited right we call moderate another level called zero so that mean being a practice in chartered accountant or any other practitioner there are four option for you to tell on any subject matter one is absolute assurance which, which is not possible in this world the next one is reasonable and next one is limited the next one is no assurance provided so what is meant by reasonable and what is meant by limited the reasonable assurance what is what is that reasonable assurance now suraj is here in front of me but behind the camera i'm asking from suraj today how are you suraj suraj ta kohomada ada brahaspatinda man ara suraj ta kohomada kila suraj kiyala 
on the sir good good now i am coming next monday again for the webinars and i ask him from suraj suraj how are you suraj says not bad sir not bad see the two words came in good good not bad hodai varadak ne me deke ekad dekad is it a one principle or a two principle if you follow the english grammar or if you follow the singhala grammar singhali or tamil grammar vyakarana good kiyana kai not bad kiyana kai grammatically same meaning but if you look at the sense wise if you look at the sense wise it has a different right good a what go mode mama hondin varadak ne something is hidden right something wrong somewhere something wrong somewhere but we don't say but we don't say it is good also so therefore that type of sense difference is yeah reasonable assurance and the limited assurance mean the reasonable mean it is a high level assurance it is a high level assurance but not 100% it is a high level assurance but not 100% right and if you look at the limited assurance it is a low level of low level assurance it is a low level assurance but type of some type of assurance is there so therefore being a chartered accountant when he is providing a his services he has a two option to go one is giving a reasonable assurance or giving a limited assurance and there is another option that particular chartered accountant say that i am not going to give an assurance but he never can he never or he cannot say that i am going to give you a 100% assurance now my audit client so i am a partner of an audit firm so you are aware that let's say my client is coming and my my client comes and tell me so look here this is coming these days enama godak vela avata me me ela kiyena man bank me loan ekak ganne anne बैंक की मम इंडिपेड आडिटर्स सर्टिफिकेशन करा लोन कोहमारी गेवन हो गया सी एट सिया अनिवार्य मैं शुअर मैं सीएट सिया लोन गेवन हो गया कैन नई कैन नई टेल टू मई क्लायंट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मई क्लायंट कैन टेल टू संपा बैंक सो गिव दिस पर्टिकुलर लोन टू दिस पर्सन सो ही विल डेफिनेटली पे द मनी दट ई कन्फर्म हंड्रेड पर्सेंट कैन ई से दट हु नोस वे दुमारो दट कंपनी गेट्स कलाप्स ओ दट पर्सन डाइस so therefore being a chartered accountant you cannot go to the 100% assurance in any circumstances in this world that is not possible at all if there are any question available in your examination paper see this shareholders of the company or the company owners management they they don't know this thing they will come and ask give me 100% certificate but you should be able to explain them so nobody can give 100% certificate on any subject matter in this world so that same theory applied for a chartered accountant also we cannot say your finance statements are 100% good we cannot say your internal controls are 100% good we cannot say your corporate governance is 100% good we cannot say you are not engaging in the environmental pollution so we cannot say anything 100% so i hope that you are clear so before move into our diagram so what i explain up to now what is the definition of an assurance engagement what are the five elements of an assurance engagement and what are the two level of assurance that can be provided by a chartered accountant actually this is a chapter from the bl5 so if you have a still doubt what i am recommending you is there is a separate webinar which i have done for the bl5 audit business process and digitalization subject webinar number 1 and 2 so this has been in in depth discussed there so you can go and watch that one if required but it is if you have some understanding here so you don't have to go and waste time into that webinar so you can move forward from here right so now having understood the assurance engagement and the level of assurance now we come to the your subject matter right so now is the biggest part or i would say uh, so this must be concentrated properly and take your paper take a paper and put the short note 
So this must be aware or must be remembered with you, must be remembered in order to address the questions that are coming into examination. But this is the maximum that would be tested. But this is the maximum even if you become a chartered accountant practice, this is the maximum as of now available. This is the maximum which we practice an audit firm as a Shubharan services, right. So being a chartered accountant, right, I am going to say that services that a chartered accountant can provide. So that is our heading, right. The services that a, that a chartered accountant, that a chartered accountant can provide, right. This can be differently interpreted in a different names. So, it will be like assurance, you are heading of your, heading of your section, assurance and related services, right. End of this diagram you need to be aware, you should be able to understand what is the meaning of assurance, related services and all that, right. So, you could see the services that can be provided by a chartered accountant, assurance services, related services, non-assurance service, other services, agreed upon work, compilation, review engagement, audit and uh, assurance engagement, due diligence, there are different terminology. There are about, I would say about 15 services. So, now I am going to divide these 15 services into the services that can a chartered accountant can provide basically divide into two, divide into two, right. The first, write down the first step, right. The first step of a services that can be provided by a chartered accountant is divided into two. One is called assurance services, assurance services. And second, non-assurance services, non-assurance services, clear? Step by step, very clearly we must go. Otherwise, this non-assurance work services we call, a different name called related services, related services. Now you come to a one definition, if anywhere, in your examination or in your study text, it talks about the related services. Related services mean what? Where practicing chartered accountant does not give an assurance. You can assurance service related service. Then logically, assurance service main chartered accountant can get job bigger. So related service kill again, assurance service. Clear? Right. So, this non-assurance, now first important thing that you should aware, assurance services and non-assurance services. What is the difference between these two? If a chartered accountant provide, listen to, if a chartered accountant provide a service, right, in this service has five element what we discussed. Tri-party relationship, appropriate subject matter, suitable criteria and evidence and the written report. If a chartered accountant provide a service and that service consists of all these five elements, irrespective of whether it is a reasonable or whether it is limited or whether it is 100 percent, 100 percent cannot be provided. Chartered accountant provide a service, that service contain all five elements irrespective of the reasonable or limited, that is called as an assurance engagement. If there are services that contains or that does not contain one of the element of here, remember to become an assurance engagement, all five criteria must prevail. Can assurance engagement can you define karan nang me karna pahamati en no. If all five criteria prevails, it calls as an assurance engagement. If all five criteria or even one of the criteria is not there, 
that type of services are called as non-assurance services, related services. So therefore, so write down in the examination approach. I'm going to give a five-step model like audit reporting, how you should think at the exam. Vibhaga prashniyak dhya balana kota me piya varayang valim balanu ne me steps. Ramada mankira na systematic learning important kira. Systematic learning also important. Systematic approach. Systematic approach to the question also important. Then you won't go, you, you, you will not get confused. You know what to think and you have a clear part to go. Then Samahara had a prashna tama agak mula teri na kohin the kiwan nikila dhani na him bae. Abhi prashna kata bama warate ka audit rip, audit planning question na kata kara bibina number three. Balana tangila balana. Eka di pae deka karam maang walate kira dhu na kohoma the prashna approach karan nikila. How the question is going to be approached by you. The similarly, here also don't get confused. Now next webinar I am trying to, uh, uh, I am thinking of doing the, the application of audit reporting and there again I know most of the students go wrong because they do not have a clear path or a clear approach or clear steps to be followed. So now here the first step write down, the first step is you need to see at the examination whether this is an assurance or an unassurance work that is the first decision that you have to make decision tree. How to decide that? Put this diagram put the diagram and my my diagram and decide whether all five crest otherwise you call crest whether crest prevail or not. If the crest prevail it is an assurance if the crest even one of the item of the crest is not prevailing that is a related services clear right that is the first step okay. So now now so see First of all, I will explain the non-assurance part or the assurance part. So, we will call the assurance part. So, there are many, yeah? step by step, you have to carefully go. The assurance services that a chartered accountant can provide, so I divide into two, I divide into two assurance services that a chartered accountant can provide, I am going to divide into two. Right. One is historical, historical financial information, not the financial statement, not the finance statement, but you should not go wrong here, historical financial information, right. And then we call other information, I have to write down so many things, right, that is what, other information, C. So then uh, when the, when this uh, basic diagram prevails, that means responsible party prepare the subject matter and given to the intended user, intended user does not trust the responsible party, therefore intended user appoint a practitioner to come and check this subject matter using the suitable criteria and after obtaining the evidence and give the report. If this diagram can be applied that is an assurance services and if not that is an unassurance services. The type of assurance services can be applied using the subject matters are categorized into two historical financial information and other information. Ekyane may in a practitioner make in a subject matter a historical financial information nakak vende pulwang emratang other information nakak vende pulwang me subject matter right then what is meant by subject matter the subject matter mean on what the practitioner express an opinion on what let us say finance statement, corporate governance, internal control, this building, aircraft, COVID-19, on what we are going to give an opinion, right, okay. So, now historical, I divided assurance services into historical financial information and other information, right. When you talk about the historical financial information mean what? So, not the today's information or not the tomorrow's information, but what happened in the past, right. When you talk about the historical financial information, a chartered accountant on this historical financial information example, 
example i would say finance statements example finance statements right in this finance statement this is a historical financial information so on on historical financial information a chartered accountant can either give a reasonable assurance reasonable assurance or the limited assurance now i am coming right write down the second step the first step is to see whether assurance or non assurance work if it is assurance work just see whether it is a historical financial information or see whether it is other information it could be a historical i i hope that you can understand right i'll come to other information later whether historical financial information or the other information third step if it is a historical financial information you just see intended users expectation this particular intended users expectation whether it is reasonable assurance or with the limited assurance whether they need a assurance stating that the subject matter does not contain material misstatement oh limited assurance that mean what the reasonable assurance or limited assurance the man kal nut kiwa practitioner connect kiyanna puluwang 100% or the reasonable or the limited right the reasonable mean what we say the subject matter do not contain material misstatement or the subject matter does not contain material misstatement एक यानी मटेरियली मिस्टेट तो लाना है अबे मिस्टेट मत दियो व्हाट इज़ मेन बाय लिमिटेड टच वर्न्स इट्स अ वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस इंग्लिश वी से वारद आक नहीं आप एंग हाँ ना वाह पीता नो को में 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 अन्य यार या कोहो मदे एक्स की ना पुत्गले या कोहो मदे दाकिन ना वारद आक ने देर आ नो एरस इट अप I haven't seen such errors. I haven't seen it. You don't say positively, no errors or no issues, no misbehavior. I haven't seen such a behavior. I haven't seen uh, wrong behaviors, wrong doings. Eva ki the me diagram ka pidak kahama management ka finance statement hadala shareholders lada dena. शाहोल्डर्स ला थर्ड पार्टी चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट आवेल ला में चेक कराने की नो मैं आठ किया ने पुला मैं फाइनेंस स्टेटमेंट दिस प्रैक्टिशनर्स कैन टेल तू द शाहोल्डर द फाइनेंस स्टेटमेंट प्रपेयर्ड बाय द मैनेजमेंट डू नॉट कंटेन मटेरियल मिस्टेटमेंट दैट इज अ रीजनेबल लशुवरंस द सिमिलरली � Nothing has come to my attention to state that the finance statements are materially misstated. Balan dogo lassa na. Kalavana karne visin pilela karna the moolle prakash ne kattal ya varadi ki matra taram kisi baak apagi ya vadahan ita lak nouye ya. Bhagadiki. Nothing has come to our attention to state that the finance statement prepared by the management are materially misstated. That means we haven't noticed to say something. We haven't noticed to say that the finance statements are materially misstated. We haven't noticed. But does it mean that no material misstatement? We don't know. Abhi dekhi na. आपी देख के ना मेरे का वारे दी के लकी अंदर तरंद देख आपी देख के ना आपी ना उधर कबू देवल तीन ना पुलवा डेट इस बाय वी से दिस इस अ पॉजिटिव अश्वरंस एंड दिस इस अ नेगेटिव अश्वरंस रीसन अब अश्वरंस इस अ पॉजिटिव अश्वरंस लेमिरा टाश्वरंस इस अ नेगेटिव अश्वरंस इट डसेंट गिव अ पॉजिटिव � so it, it's virtually tell like that. So that is why it says it's a lower level of assurance. Right? So similar concept is applicable here. Now when the auditor, when the practitioner comes and check the historical financial information, that particular practitioner either can give a reasonable assurance or either can give, give a limited assurance. So reasonable assurance means what? We positively say the subject matter does not contain material misstatement. Limited assurance means say that Nothing has come to our attention to state that the subject matter is materially misstated. How nice. Right. Okay. So, this reasonable assurance can be given. Remember, 
if it is a historical financial information, the reasonable assurance is giving. This reasonable assurance is giving at the historical financial information is external. Sorry. Audit of finance statement. If audit of finance statement, right? So, therefore, the first, first type of services that the chartered accountant provide is audit of finance statement. Audit mean what? It is assurance services coming under the historical financial information. Clear? Right. Okay. So, now when an audit is conducted by an auditor, so this particular practitioner has to apply the certain level of certain level of standards or the, it has to be a followed, this practitioner must follow the guidelines which is given by CA Sri Lanka or any other regulatory body. So, accordingly this audit must be conducted using that you are already aware Sri Lanka auditing standards. So, basically we have from the 200 to 810, 37 auditing standards, right. So, then one type of services, the services that, that a chartered accountant can provide it, services chartered accountant can provide. There are two types of services, one is assurance, other one is non-assurance. The assurance services we have a two, historical financial information or the other information. Historical financial information we have two, one is reasonable assurance or the limited assurance. The reasonable assurance is provided on what circumstances that is audit of finance statement. This audit of finance statements are given based on the Sri Lanka auditing standards number 200 to 810, 37 auditing standard which is your syllabus we have done already mostly. Right, okay. Now second thing, when, when, when this practitioner is asked to review the historical financial information, if the situation is to give a limited assurance, that means not the positive assurance, but the situation is to give a limited assurance, in this limited assurance, in the limited assurance is given on review of financial statement, review of financial, I call financial information, not only statement, but review of financial information. So, review mean in hereafter remember if someone talks about the limited review of finance statement if it is audit mean it is a reasonable assurance if someone talks about the review of finance statement remember if you have not learned properly in earlier review mean we give a limited assurance so therefore in a limited assurance or the review engagement we call review engagement in a review engagement we basically say the negative assurance nothing has come to our attention to state that the finances information prepared by the management are materially misstated, is materially misstated, right. So, therefore, the second service, reasonable assurance audit, the limited assurance is review of financial information, we call review engagement. Now, this review engagement, we have a two circumstances in the practice. We have a two circumstances, I do not know whether you can see Suraj, Suraj, right. Review of financial information, I do not know whether it, it could be seen. This review of finance statement, we have a two. One is Sri Lanka standard on review engagement, SLSRE, Sri Lanka standard on review engagement 2400, other one. Sri Lanka standard on review engagement 2410, right? 2400, which we will discuss in detail later. So, Sri Lanka standard on review engagement 2400 talks about, talks about, remember, talks about review of financial statement, review of financial statements. 2400 talks about the review of finance statement, I will tell you in later, this is applicable not for the auditor of the company, I will tell you that complication later. Right? 
In the second standard is Sri Lanka standard on review engagement 2410. This is applicable for review of review of interim interim financial information. Sri Lanka standard on review engagement 2410 is applicable for the companies audited to give a review report on the interim financial information prepared by the management. I let me to explain that. What is that? In most of the companies, in most of the companies, PLCs, you can see to the, you can go to the csc.lk Columbus Stock Exchange uh, or select any PLC and you can download any annual report. So, you can see the management is preparing the final statement and giving to the shareholder and there is a particular auditor to come and check this finance statement, right. This is a general annual set of finance statement. But time to time, this according to the CSE guideline, it is mandatory for a PLC. So, they need to prepare the interim finance statement. Interim finance statement means what? They have to prepare the quarterly accounts. accounts, accounts, The interim finance statement has what a Ekat management take the card the shareholders. Have I shareholders like the Goma management take Visasa Gran in any? Have I shareholders like Aurud Davasan in a kind of a good it current? Ekinisa requirement take a tinama. Chartered account and a tigina may interim finance statement take a villa checker and give. The interim finance statement take a checker, audit take a then nuna with Aurud Davasan in the above denomani. Ekinisa auditors like a Ranimokada as per the guideline given by CSC Sri Lanka, we give a Review report on this finance statement. We give a review report. We give a review report because when it is a review report, you are not required to do many things. So, you can simply do a main two procedures, I will tell you. So, that can be concluded. So, therefore, even though the shareholder does not have a comfort like audit, anyway, the audit is coming at the year end. So, this is with regard to a quarterly finance statement. So, have a certain level of assurance is given by the chartered accountant. So, that is what the expectation, but if you are reviewing the full set of finance statement, let us say if this auditor to check this full set of finance statement on review mode or a limited assurance form, so then you have to apply this standard 2400 review of finance statement, full set of finance statement at the year end, right. But if you are to review the interim financial information, finance statement is actually financial information. Because information means there are more information than the statement sometimes. Financial information, then the standard is applicable for 2410. But there is a difficult technical part here. It even study text, it does not talk about in big way, but you should aware. So, this 2410 or this review of interim finance statement can be done only by the auditor of the company. Mama, year and day, auditor Karanavadang Vitarai, Mata Ek. Interim finance statement will review report take up the end of the matter review finance review report take up the end of the interim finance statement to mama a company again audit and with a year end again audit a corona with a matter of a condition negative right second thing second thing this is a I do not know whether it is useful for but one day I, I always believe that you need to learn the everything correctly maximum then easy for you. This second thing, this Sri Lanka standard on related services 2400. So, 2400, remember this 2400 cannot be applied by the auditor of the company. Then, company ke auditor, the auditor of the company, he has to audit the finance statement using Sri Lanka auditing standards and give a report to the shareholder. Agree? This auditor should come and check the finance statement and give a report to the shareholder stating that the finance statement do not contain material misstatement. It is a reasonable assurance. It is a reasonable assurance. Right? Clear? Similarly, this particular appointed auditor can check the interim finance statement, interim finance statement prepared by the management and give a 
limited assurance. Clear? So, these two can be done by the auditor. Right. Now, just because of the interim finance statement you are giving a just because of you are giving an interim finance statement a limited assurance, at the year end also management comes and tell you, uh, look here, audit is so costly. So, therefore, shall we avoid the audit and can you give us an annual also review report? Remember that, that cannot be done. Particular auditor of the company, he cannot give a limited assurance on the finance statement, he cannot give a limited assurance on the full set of finance statement which are prepared for the financial period. It is not possible. Then you may be wondering, then what, why this is there? review of finance statement kila? Remember now, let us say another practitioner let us say this is KPMG, they are giving audit report. Now, Creston is coming to the scene, right. This management or the shareholder wants to get a review report on the finance statement, entire full set of finance statement. So, now in this particular another audit firm, if they want to come and check the finance statement and give a report to the shareholders as a limited assurance, there can't be two auditors for the company one auditor, one auditor is KPMG, but another firm can give a review report on the finance statement. That review report cannot be given by the auditor of the company. But then logic is there, in-depth logic is there. And Eva gave a lot of money, yet, if you have a question, 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 या एक कंपनी के ऑडिटर ने भाई अन्य ये वेला आउट किए ना वाह 2400 ने किंदाल रिपोर्ट टेक दिन ने किया ना। I don't know whether you are clear with that. This is not there in the study text also, but it is hidden meaning it is there. But it, it's very important thing examiner can can touch on that. So you may be wondering why this too. Remember, this cannot be not down this one. 2400 cannot be applied by the auditor of the company. If you are auditor of a company, you have to go through in here. You can't go through here. But if you are not auditor of the company, you can apply this. But again, interim finance statement to be applied, you have to be the auditor. Audit only can do. In this case, Creston cannot uh, come and check the interim accounts. It is not allowed. You cannot do. Okay. So, let us see. So, I hope that you are clear with the gravity of that. So, now, so now, I would say, now we learn two types of services that a chartered accountant provide. One is reasonable assurance, that is audit. Then we call number two, that is limited assurance, that is called review. And there are different types of standard, Sri Lanka standard on review engagement and this is Sri Lanka auditing standard. All right. Now we come to other information. Let us say, this practice in chartered accountant, not always ask in the finance statement. If this practice in chartered account and if it is asked finance statement, we know historical financial information how to be addressed. Now, we come to, there could be a certain circumstances this particular chartered accountant is asked, not the financial information, but there will be so much of other information that a chartered accountant should check. Corporate governance, internal controls, proper finance statement, prospective financial information, due diligence, value for money audit. There are many services that a chartered accountant provide. So, in hand on experience I know, so I will tell you now, to I will tell you, remember, if there is a other information, right, I will go through the number one. If this subject matter can always be a finance statement or can, can be other information, let us say internal control, internal control of the business organization. It is a internal control, internal control. Then, what is internal control? What is it? Management is responsible 
to design and implement the internal controls of the business organization. Management or the those charged with governance is responsible to design and implement the internal controls of the business organization. You agree with me? Yes. Then this internal control, now shareholders come into the scene and say that, look here, my management, I don't know whether they are implementing the internal controls or not. I don't know whether they are adequate internal control design and implemented in the business organization. I don't have any trust. Internal controls are not going to be reported by the auditor of the company. Auditor does not have any responsibility to report the internal control problems. But if the auditor during the audit of the auditor notice significant deficiencies, it can be communicated to the management letter, but this is not that is not a primary objective of the auditor. So therefore, auditor, therefore, shareholder says no, no. But make a check on make company internal control on the other. Now, to whom to go? You have to go to a chartered accountant. And qualified the audit firm came with Agatama, is a retang audit firm make an audit to the Rani, audit never the good at the wealthy. So now chartered accountant comes and check the internal controls of the business organization and give a report to the shareholder. So this particular chartered accountant is checking the internal control now. The similarly, instead of internal control, this could be a corporate governance. You know, corporate governance, the business organization should implement adequate corporate governance principles that are given by the code of corporate governance issued by CA Sri Lanka and the Securities and Exchange Commission of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. So, now the shareholders owe any other intended user, let us say SEC or maybe the government of Sri Lanka or the Inland Road Department or any other government regulatory body, they want to know whether this those charged with governance they have implemented properly the corporate governance. If they want to know, then it has to be again referred to the chartered accountant to come and check this and give a report. Right. And similarly, this management is preparing a budget for next 5 years. See, this management is preparing a budget for next 5 years. Now, to get, get a lo bank loan, this management is preparing a budget for next 5 years and giving to a bank. See, you prepare a budget and you management is given to a bank. Bank say, I, how can I believe the budget prepared by you? This is your character. How can I believe in your character? Man, komuda oyagi charite oasahati karate eka pili gani. Komuda bang eka karate. I can't. Therefore, you go to a third party person called chartered accountant, such a prestige professional and get a report that that budget prepared by you are reasonably or reasonably no material misstatement, they are reasonably acceptable. So now, management goes to a chartered accountant and say, look here, they have a finance statement, they have a budgeted finance statement, they have a budget, they have a costing on other budget. Can you, can you check and give a report? Why not? We are ready. You bring anything subject matter. We are ready. Why? We have the, this is the diagram. We have the diagram. We have the diagram to do any service. You bring. You bring. We are equipped. Right? So now, the second thing we call PFI. Mukaddi. PFI. Prospective financial information, we call prospective financial information, prospective. This is historical, this is prospective financial information. Budget. Ilangurutu pahi budget take a check kala dinner to. Karam okata da pigana gun, which are a little culture subject in a gun. Financial accounting with the pigana gun, audit with the pigana gun. Budget had a nekoma, the even a standard cost in the nekoma, the okoma, the igana gun, no good. Right. Then. After VFI, so they come and say, no, look here, different things can be applied. Let us say another one, it, third one, uh, controls at a, controls in a service organization, controls in a service organization. That I will explain you later, what is that controls in a service organization that I will explain. So, what I am telling now, so this management can prepare many subject matters other than the finance statement, this is what I am explaining now. And then another one, we call uh, greenhouse, gas statements, 
right another one proforma proforma financial information included in prospects uh, included in prospects right these three i will explain you next then let's say na number 5 number 6 we call kpi what is that kpi key performance indicators what happen now management management set a kpi for the employees management set a kpi for the employees but who knows this kpi has been achieved or the central environmental authority has given the kpis or government has given the kpis for the company but who knows whether this has been achieved so in that case now the third party comes into the place and come and check that kpi so this kpi check this kpi balanna ko meka hari lassanai me diagram eke mokadda maaru wenne me ara element paha tiyenawa subject matter eka maaru wenu इधर सब्जेक्ट मैटर का हिस्टोरिकल फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन वेंडे पुलवांग इमरतं अदर इंफॉर्मेशन वेंडे पुलवांग इट कुड बी अ हिस्टोरिकल फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन और दी अदर इंफॉर्मेशन राइट सो दे आफ ओके पीआईस कैन कम सी ऑल दी सा कॉल अदर इंफॉर्मेशन अदर इंफॉर्मेशन दैट अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट कैन apply this diagram and give a report and charge a fee these are not pre op services sa me okak okak kwat me free service hema nevei audit firms avila charitable organization ut nevei right they they so in the business professional service business so we are not we are not in charitable business we are in business right in business are conducted in accordance with the professional standard that are issued by csc sri lanka in a professional manner but professional charges are recovered from the clients right so now see i'm going to delete this see this other information now i we learn now two thing one thing is audit other one we call review other information remember this other informations are audited or the or the practitioners are check this other information applying sri lanka standards on assurance engagement this other informations are checked by a practicing chartered accountant using the guidelines given in sri lanka standards on assurance engagement right so main standard is 3000 so this is the 3000 standard only giving you the guideline sri lanka standard on assurance engagement 3000 that is a mother standard which gives a guideline overall guideline for all this in addition to that then after that after the overall guideline to address the each and every specific issues there are separate separate assurance engagement standards if i tell you with regard to the internal controls of the bank and the finance companies the standard number sri lanka standards on assurance engagement 3050 and 51 right 50 for the banks and 51 for the finance companies in sri lanka so the board of directors should prepare a board of directors should prepare the report with regard to the internal controls that must be submitted to the central bank and that is audited by the chartered accountant using the standard on assurance engagement 3050 or 51 right and the prospective financial information highly testable in your examination that sri lanka standards on assurance engagement 3400 right then controls in a service organization sri lanka standard on assurance engagement 3402 तब मैं माता का दिन होना था रे। Greenhouse Gas Statement, Sri Lanka Standards on Assurance Engagement, three thousand four hundred ten. Right. Then, pro forma financial information to be included in the prospectus of the finance of the company. That is, Sri Lanka Standard on Assurance Engagement, three thousand four hundred twenty. right so 
remember if any other thing these are the specific standard this is the maximum that you should aware as far as a chartered accountant is concerned this is the maximum for audit firm for us to practice better in your mouth better in your professional judgment with the maximum guideline right so you can double check this one you can download you can go to the sri lanka accounting and auditing standard committee dot tlk website to get a we are going to get auditing standards scale right when you go to auditing standard all the standards this this all the standards that are applicable for a chartered accountant are listed there right so you basically this is documented in the three volume one volume two volume three you can download the 2020 edition volume one volume two volume three right if you look at the volume one talks about the old auditing standards volume two talks about review standard and all these standards this 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 volume two and if you talk about the volume three we talk about the assurance framework it is a guideline of a framework that's it that is the maximum for a chartered accountant should aware in terms of the practicing right right now again i'm telling if there is a if there are no specific standard given here for let's say for a kpi there is no specific standard given so in such circumstances let's say corporate governance let's say anything anything else can come up where the chartered accountant can certify in such circumstances what is this applicable standard mother standard is applicable that is sri lanka standard on assurance and engagement reason that is a mother standard for all other information if there are no specific guidelines this is applicable right remember now another important thing now here we learn historical financial information it it could be either reasonable or it could be either limited it could be either reasonable or it could be either limited now you don't you think that other information whether reasonable because that is also an assurance whether limited or the reasonable remember depending on the circumstances depending on the circumstances or given the specific guideline both can be applied reasonable and the limited i will tell you one by one later but for the moment remember depending on the circumstances where the auditor or the practitioner we don't say auditor we matter the other and may part of me the auditor can make a part which even the method of the time all other places limited assurance a review engagement or the other information or the non assurance services all other places we use the word call practitioner practitioner so the different places in auditing syllabus we talk a different word for a jared accountant we call in the code of ethics will become a professional accountant kill auditing standard will become an auditor kill all the assurance services will become a practitioner kill right okay so now i hope that i will i will then later i will go into detail of each standard in a summary form based on the available timing we don't have much timing in to go other this is a very fantastic discussion so we can discuss about 8 10 hours in a very fantastic way but with the given limited time i am trying to summarize here right so then basically we learn one thing is auditing and the review and now assurance engagement is number 3 and we are coming to the last and I'll I'll just delete this one. Number four, number four, non-assurance services, related services mean we don't provide, we don't provide any type of services. So this any services there are two, there are two services that. A chartered accountant can provide under the related services where no assurance is provided. AUP, I mean practice taken audit from AUP. Agreed upon procedures. Agreed upon procedures. What is that? Remember, agreed upon procedures mean we don't provide any type of assurance. The matter key what they mom audit firm again not audit firm again chartered institute thing I will again a few chartered institute together put it together and I'm going to get me put it together label gaga no together we put it together count girl make a potato label gaga no together how the key and make up now let's say there are 
they are CA members are there, those are the stakeholders and CA Sri Lanka management is there, Creston is there. Let us say CA Sri Lanka management comes and tell us look here, we want we do not know how many chairs in this CA Sri Lanka building and how many bulbs there are, we do not know how many computers. Can you do a small thing, can you tell audit trainees for five audit trainees or, and do a verification of all these chairs and put a sticker and give us a report on this what is the number of chairs available in this flow each wise. I am going to practice again, fix a set verification. So, when the CSC Lanka management comes and tell us to do that, but see there are no try the CSC Lanka owners or the members are not involving in this, who is requesting? requesting only the management. If management requesting and we are doing mean there are no tri-party relationship. We are not giving a report to the CA member, we just report to the management. So, therefore, number one criteria of to become assurance services tri-party relationship does not prevail. If, if one, one criteria is not there, I mean you can't go through this road, you cannot go through this road and this is your road that is non-assurance services, right. So, then now they are coming and telling you, so look here, can you count? I very, if you want to count, count. Ginawa, stop, ginawa, dhamma, sticker, tika, print, kara, barcode, dag, gawa, count, kara. Barcode, dag, dhamma, excel, lega, dag, atta, excel, lega, print, kara, report, tika, dun. Haba, ye report, tika, api, kia, anna, me, puttu, gana, ki, wada, me, puttu, a, kocchar, honda, idi, kira, api, kia, anna. We are not given assurance on the chairs. We say that this, this number of chairs are there, that is it. We do not say this chair is very good condition, bad condition, you should not, uh, we, we, none of our business. Why? We were asked to give a count, done account and give a report, that is it. So, that is called agreed upon procedures, agreed upon procedures, agreed upon procedures, clear? Right. Then next one we call compilation, compilation engagement, there, what is that? Compilation engagement. Now, let us say like this, compilation engagement, now uh, you, uh, let us say you, you are a chartered accountant and one of your uh, uncle has a bakery in the junction, Handi bakery at the Uncle Kinoa, Putami Adambo department doing inland revenue tax department taking me in a wa, Kilati in a wa, we matamaki comes together in Nuku. The Vamaka the Karane, Akawana uncle, the Mama chartered accountant can ekne gila, Gana payment voucher stick gana, check book ke gana, Oka the app, it was a sales invoice stick gana, Uitika the Abalagana, primary ledgers, primary books together, ledger together, trial balance together, accounts together. The Mukadda Akari or compile kara information. You compile the information, you compile the information and you prepare the financial statement. You compile the information prevailing in the business organization and you prepare the financial statement on behalf of whom? Shareholders? No, on behalf of the management. Management comes and tell you again the CA Sri Lanka management comes and tell to the Christian, can you prepare our finance statement? Why not? We prepare. Let us say there is a boutique center in Nugegoda, Kovola Junction and come and tell, can you, we will give the bank statement, can you prepare the accounts? Why not? We prepare. That is our job. So, we prepare the finance statement, but the problem is, when you are preparing a finance statement, tripartite relationship does not prevail, that is not there. So, then the, the tripartite relationship not there, I mean of course that cannot go through this road. We do not give opinion, even though we prepare the finance statement, we are not the auditor of the company, we are not the auditor, we just compile the information and we give the finance statement. So, that is we done under the compilation engagement compilation engagement, right. So, accordingly, so remember agreed upon, so this standard, so this must be done according to Sri Lanka standard on related services, SLA's RE review engagement, 
SLS RS 4400 right this one Sri Lanka standards on related services 4410 so accordingly fourth type of standard is Sri Lanka standard on related services you see this is the maximum that a chartered accountant can provide as of today and today is 30th June 2021 on according to the prevailing regulation issued by the Sri Lanka as of now in a Sri Lankan chartered accountant even a global chartered accountant which are practicing in a different countries in the world so they have only the maximum these services can be provided and these are the applicable maximum standard which is prevailing in addition to that there are some small guideline called Sri Lanka practicing Sri Lanka auditors practicing statement one two three something small small guidelines are there but those are only guidelines issued by each country level but in global context this is the maximum that a practice in chartered accountant or audit firm partner can apply in providing the professional services which is the your this is your final learning in your career so in the CL1 advanced in assurance all these services must be known by you now according to this summary remember in your examination questions always don't get don't get hurry don't be a hurry because I took little longer time for to explain this particular areas this diagram rather going through the each and every standard because if you have a holistic picture on the subject on the criteria, on the guideline you can manage this question and definitely if there are 10 marks entire 10 marks you can get this is not difficult so therefore I believe that you need to draw this diagram 10 times diagram you need to draw this diagram 10 times draw destroy the paper draw destroy the paper likewise you do 10 times 11 time you draw this diagram and the way I explain you explain to someone else take a call from your friend who is doing the exam or someone else so ask him to listen ask him to listen to you for 10 minutes or someone else take the paper and explain services that can be chartered accountant to assurance non assurance assurance there are two historical other historical there are two reasonable limited audit review and other assurance engagement agreed upon and the compilation and the related services we will practice questions right then now and the examination question number one number one what you need to do is first of all you have to see the crest prevails whether it is assurance or non assurance that decision is critical if you don't if you go wrong they are finished and then if no look at whether the agreed upon or no, comply that is an easy decision no because agreed up compilation mean only preparing the finance statement that is only all other works can categorize under the agreed upon putu ganankara and kiyanna puluwang one ka sha valuation akkala den kiyanna puluwang one ka one service api danna api danna one ka karana puluwang api danna one ka karana puluwang me tri part relationship ka nattam meke thama i dannu then assurance services then you have to see whether this is historical or other information if it is historical you have to see the review or audit and other mean you have to carefully see whether this can be specifically addressed in the standard or if not apply the standard of 3000 which is limited or the reasonable highly examinable these are the highly examinable ones so this these are highly examinable this is a December 2000 December 2020 online examination paper this was test search for 10 marks and the, this is this has not been tested in the 10 mark question my prediction for this time it could come because this has to be tested right this has to be tested this is another important one and the next one is this right if you see these three are very much popular in the examination question in the global context right so therefore you need to carefully see all these these three standard in word to word in a proper way right in addition to that in addition to that there are another two things right there are another two things one thing is called due diligence 
due diligence due diligence and there is another thing called value for money audit now if there are questions remember these two services i will tell you later what is that due diligence services or value for money audit there are two services that are that a chartered accountant can provide these two are coming under which category you cannot give a conclusion i will let tell you first one what is dd we call in practice dd dd kiyanne mokadda dd kiyala kiyanne mene me vaakya so due diligence so due diligence mean let's say there is a company called abc private limited right and this abc private limited is going to be acquired by xyz private limited xyz plc so that mean xyz plc company plc company intends to acquire or the purchase abc private mata my kara company mira di ganno I'm going to buy that particular company. So if I'm going to buy that company, but you know, according to the business business entity concept, once you purchase that company, all the problem that belongs to that company are your baby. According to business and entity concept, the previous owners will sell the company and they will go off. And after that. all the labor cases litigation legal cases rpt problem monitoring board problem central bank problem that problem this problem all are your baby you have to take care so therefore always a company is trying to take over another company or they acquire another company always they are really careful because api da api api bahasa aben kiyana api kiyana api mokotada kunu kunu godak gihila ganne api mokotada kunu godak ata ganne why we try to get into such a uh, bad uh, practices or a bad company why we should that so therefore always this buyer we call buyer buyer always prefer to go to a chartered accountant and say or a practitioner and say look here i'm going to i'm going to buy this abc private limited can you perform an engagement and tell us whether what are the significant matters that we need to concentrate on buying of this company what are the significant fact that i have to be vigilant in designing the share price of the company or what are the problem that i could notice or that should be brought to my attention before the acquisition so in that cases this practice in chartered accountant come and check this the companies financial non financial information not only financial and non financial information and then give a report to the buyer of the company that is that type of services is called due diligence due diligence due diligence is done mainly in the acquiring on behalf of the buyer of the company right now my question is to not to explain the due diligence i hope that you are well aware of before before you come to the cl1 it is there in the bl5 but the problem is when you are preparing a due diligence what standard to be applied whether it is a audit or whether it is a review or whether it is a assurance engagement or whether it is a related services remember that that is auditor's professional judgment they are now let's say i'm a, if i'm the engagement partner for the due diligence work that is done on behalf of the mass holding then i have to decide depending on the requirement of the shareholder depending on the facts prevailing i can decide what standard to be applied right you have three options you have a three option one is apply sri lanka standard on review engagement number two sri lanka standard on assurance engagement or sri lanka standard on related services 4400 or 2400 or 3000 right what to be applied but anyway you can't use audit audit what cannot be used either review or the assurance engagement or agreed upon review engagement 
3000 assurance engagement or related services 4400 agreed upon work one of them standard can be applied while you are preparing the due diligence report but that is purely auditor's judgment which need to be used by used by it is decided by myself clear in examination if there is a dd report of course remember it could be either assurance or an unassurance it depends it depends on the stakeholder requirement or the person who is asking us to prepare the report so depend on all those prevailing circumstances right the similarly the next one is called value for money audit vfm audit what is for value for money audit that also you are aware i think value for money audit this is then the internal audit chapter chapter number 20 also in your syllabus value for money audit value for money audit mean let's say you are auditor of a university government university you are auditor of a government university let's say you are auditor of university of sri jawardhanapura and if you are auditing the university of sri jawardhanapura usjp can you check their finance statement and say that the finance statement free from material misstatement is it a you is it the requirement of the user so let's say in a university university there are three party one is university council university management and then government who is investment the money who, who is giving the money to run the university activities and let's say jaran account now this particular jaran account needs to come and check the finance statement of the university and say that the finance statements are free from material misstatement but whole objective of the government is not to evaluate the performance of the university through the financial figures they don't have the profit they don't have the total asset base those are the not the expected result of expected outcome by the government what they expect so they expect something beyond that the social economic impact how many graduates have been uh, produced all those graduates are whether what are the position they are and what what are what is the contribution that they made to the society so the government expectation by incurring some expenses is something different so in such circumstances so general audit or a general review or a general assurance engagements are not going to be work out so in such circumstances especially non profit organization the ideal audit will be value for money audit so that mean this practitioner must come and check what is the value generated what is the value generated for the money expensed in such circumstances basically there are three things to be look at we call three e's if economy efficiency and effectiveness in value for money audit basically the practitioner should look at three things economy efficiency and the effectiveness and these three things must be look at but in a broader angle beyond the financial consideration so in such a thing similar like due diligence due diligence in such circumstances you cannot apply the one of these standard but the practice in chartered accountant is given the option either 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 you apply the sri lanka standard on review engagement 2400 sri lanka standard on related services 4400 or sri lanka standard sri lanka standard on assurance engagement 3000 one of the standard you are free to apply depending in your professional judgment right okay so so therefore this not is complete now so due diligence so due diligence or value for money audit so you can apply either sri lanka standard on review engagement 2400 or sri lanka standard on sri lanka standard on assurance engagement 3000 o sri lanka standard on related services 4400 so one of them you can apply right so therefore with that this short note is completed so i always believe that in your examination what you really want to look at is whether it is assurance or an unassurance service if it is assurance see whether the historical or other information historical mean look at the reasonable or a limited if it is audit if it is reasonable then audit 
So review means look at whether the full set of finance statement or interim then accordingly the st two standards are applicable. Other information see whether what the specific standards are covered or if not go for the mother standard and if not go to the related services into two agreed upon no compilation. But if the question is directly giving you the these two DD or VFM so directly you decide depending on the professional judgment that has to be applied by the auditor all three answers are correct.